Hi everybody, it's Drew at Drucifer's Idiocracy again, here with Kelsey again. For you, it's probably only been a matter of minutes since you last saw me, but for me, it's been like three hours. We are in somewhere in Southern Illinois. Uh, we just left Mount Vernon, so that might, I think it's Central um, Southern Illinois. Um, we just had dinner at Freddy's. If you have a Freddy's, then you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then you're missing out. We just passed Updike. What? Updike? <laughs> Updike. <laughs> Updike. Um. <laughs> That's funny. Um. Oh, Belle Reve. Okay, I've heard of Belle Reve before. Um. Anywho. Unfortunately, we haven't had anything super exciting happen. Like, we smoked a lot of cigarettes. Um, <laughs> it rained when, after we passed through St. Louis. A lot. A lot. Like, you couldn't see the freaking road. Like, it, it, it was yeah. actually a little scary. <laughs> it rained a lot, but for like... <laughs> like, two minutes. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it might have been five. Uh, yeah, I was going to go five, but then I was like, ten, two, somewhere, <laughs> somewhere around Somewhere there. in between two and ten. About five. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. Um... <laughs> But yeah, we were like, what do we talk about? Like, nothing's happened. I know. So we thought we would talk about landmarks, especially from someone else who's been there. Yeah. Well, I did almost walk into the men's restroom at a rest stop. Oh, that was <laughs> exciting. We were walking. I was just following Drew. She was just following me. And then, like, we're, like, up to the door. And she goes, oh, wrong door. <laughs> like, wait. Oh, this is the men's room. What am I doing? And I, like, turned around and walked away. <laughs> But I mean, like, she was this close from walking in right behind me. <laughs> like, I, I, I noticed you were close, but, like, I it wasn't until, like, I was opening the door that I was like, she is still right behind me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was, like, one of those where you, like, go inside and then oh, you go to the bathroom. Yeah, like, no, there's a door for men's and there's a door for women. Yeah, it's like, not where you just walk into a building and then go to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like the one we had lunch at. Yeah. Oh my god, when we stopped for lunch, I forgot to spill this tea. There was this guy in the bathroom and he was like leaning up against the wall. He's like, I don't feel good. And I was like, I wish I had my sunglasses covering my freaking face. Because if he had COVID and I got exposed, I'm going to be so freaking pissed. He wasn't wearing a mask. Nothing. Ugh. I got tested for COVID. I'm negative. As of that test. As of like Friday. Did they test you in Silver Living? No. What did you get tested for? I didn't feel good. Oh. So I just went ahead and got tested just in case. And it took them like forever to call me. And by the time they even told me, like, I could have spread that shit, but I didn't have it. So. Yeah. So did you have to quarantine for a couple days? Yeah. That Wear a mask and go do all that. I mean, I wear a mask anyways because in Kentucky it's mandated, mandatory. Yeah, they, you have to wear a mask even if you leave your house. If you're by yourself, it's fine, but if you're a group of two or more people, you have to wear a mask. Really? Yeah. It's a good thing I brought two masks. You're right? <laughs> you don't need them. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what happens to the other one though. I think it's in my, my stuff that's packed up well, I have lots of them. <laughs> but they're kids. I have to wear kids' masks. <laughs> <laughs> My mom sewed these masks, so I put mine in, Target. mine's in my pocket. We sell them at Target. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> and then my aunt and uncle made me one, but it's like a thick mask. It makes you my, my it. face sweat, and I had to wear it in the airport and on the plane and everything. And I was like, I can't be having a sweaty face. Yeah, that's not cute. No. Ow! I just bit my tongue. <laughs> I wasn't even eating anything. That's talent. It is talent. Oh my goodness. Why is it like foggy over there? Probably a fire. I bet it, someone just drove through there. No, I think it's just fog. Huh, that was weird. <laughs> it's like the children of the corn. Seriously. <laughs> That's the smoke that pulls you into the corn and then the kids kill you. Yeah. If you didn't, if you didn't um, grasp, there, we just passed the cornfield. <laughs> and there was fog. <laughs> and there was like this weird, like dusty looking fog. Just that, right there. 
That was weird. That was really weird. <laughs> it was like a siren pulling me in. Right? What if there were mermaids in there? And they, oh and my they, god. But they still lure sailors to their death who aren't on the sea. There's like Navy guys who go in there and you're like, ah! But like, I'm not Navy, like, so they wouldn't kill me. No, they wouldn't. Can, can well, we turn the... around? <laughs> <laughs> like, not like it, mermaids. The mermaids would be like, hey girl, you're a girl, so like, we're not gonna kill you, but you know. What send, the fuck? Send your That's... Navy friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, I'm not the Navy, I'm not a dude, but like, you know who mermaids need to kill? What? Pirates. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean like now pirates, not not yeah, old and timey I, pirates. Well, both. Both of them. Both Like that movie with uh, Tom Hanks. I'm the captain now. <laughs> I've never actually seen it. Me neither, I just know the meme. <laughs> but I've, I've, I know the story um, from, well, I already knew of the movie, but I, I used to watch this show called, um, History 